To define a variable, type in var and then the variable underscore name. We use uh, underscores to separate words. And then you can give this uh, a value. So you could give this a whole number like 5, 9. Or you could give it something like a float. So a decimal number like 5.9 or 6.8.65. You can also give this true, false, or a string if you want to. I'm just going to delete that real quickly. You can add numbers together by typing in the first number and then the second number you want to add. So in this case, 2 plus 2. You can also add floating points together, so 2.9 plus 2.9 if you want to. You can also subtract numbers, so 2.9 minus 2.9. You can multiply numbers, so 2.9 multiplied by 2.9. Or you can divide 2.9 by 2.9. You can print things. So you, for example, I can print 2 plus 2, run it, and as we can see here, it prints 4. I can also print 2 times 2. In this case, it will print 4 once again because 2 times 2 is 2. And we can also print out strings. So I can say string, and as we can see here, it will print out my string. So that's how you print out things and add variables together. You can create functions by typing in func and then the function name. Open close parentheses in the line and colon and then put your logic in here. So for example, I can return 2 plus 2 and then I can print the function name. And then as we can see here, it will print 4. We can also do other logic. So we can say print and then print what we want to. So I can just say print hello world. And then to call a function, we just type in the function name and then open close parentheses, run the scene. As we can see here, it prints hello world. So that is how you make functions and call functions. And the next thing we can do is if statements. So I can say if we need a variable first. So I'm just going to create bar real quickly, variable. And then I'm just going to set that equal to, let's just say five, if variable, variable is equal to, we use double equals to check is so. Make sure you use double equals. We can say print vari variable is five exclamation point. And then we can also say else. And then we can say print variable variable is not five like that. So now we can run it and we can see that says variable is five. But if I were to change this to some crazy number like that, we can see it prints variable is not five. So that's how you create a statements. So if you found this video informative, like, subscribe, Funhubert out.